Hi everyone, this is Dr. Fu. I just wanted to make a quick video to walk you through expectations, format, and any questions that past students have had when they've engaged in the Pachachka individual project. So let's go ahead and get started. And if after watching this video you still have questions, please feel free to email me. But I figured this would be a good way kind of laying the land and let you know what to expect. So let's get started. So before I talk about the specific format of the presentation I want you guys to try out, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the content. So here you have two options in terms of what you do and what you structure your presentation on. One route is um, over the next few weeks, watch a movie or read a book related to developmental psychology. If you go back to the very end of your syllabus, you'll find there's an existing approved list of either the books or the movies slash documentaries. So so if any of those books or movies grab your attention and it's something that you um, find fascinating, go ahead and let me know in this assignment and then we will go ahead and approve it, but th that shouldn't be a problem. If you have read something in the past or you're reading something right now and you feel like it would be appropriate for the scope of this class, feel free to check in with me. Um, we can work something out most likely um, as long as it fits the content. Um, so that's option number one. Option number two is you have the option of doing a research project um, where you can delve in a specific topic. You can take a research approach of reading several articles and then combining things together about what the field has said about a particular topic. Or you can pick something practical, um, something that uh, an undergraduate student has done in the past is how to teach kids about money, what age do you start, what kind of developmental implications does it have, um, or another topic was um, how to help a young child deal with grief and loss depending on the age um, that they're at. So this one, the sky is the limit, but again, it's for you to pick a topic, do more research, come back and talk about the developmental implications. So those are kind of the two routes. Um, number one, watch a movie or read a book, um, do a review on it. Um, and then the number two approach is to do a research project. So now that we've covered the content of what your presentation would be about, let's talk a little bit about the format. So Pachachka really stands for chit chat um, in Japanese. So it's a presentation format where the speaker shows 20 slides, one image per slide, and then 20 seconds Per each slide. So essentially, if you imagine your first slide, you would see one image with very little title and words um, to kind of capture the essence of it. And within that slide, you would talk for 20 minutes. And you would do that for all 20 slides. So 20 seconds per image um, in terms of recorded speech, one image per slide, and then do it 20 times. So the whole presentation should last approximately 6 minutes and 40 seconds. Um, this is the time that you have to capture the main idea. So as you kind of think about your research topic or the movie and the book that you're reading, think about what are your main message and how can you spread it across evenly within that 20 slides. And how can you best use visuals to capture your main message and really capture the audience's interest. The reason why I'm requiring this format is many of us, myself included, in the past uh, were so accustomed to jamming bullet points and images and everything visually um, busy into one slide that oftentimes our slides get so busy the audience either don't know what they're looking at or they get really overwhelmed or both. So using the one main image per slide um, hopefully you choose good resolution, powerful visual images to really help you carry the main message of that one particular slide. It really is one picture is worth more than 1,000 words. So um, with the 6 minutes and 40 seconds pace, um, we're trying to keep things very concise. It helps you to really narrow down what you want to say as you only can record 20 seconds per slide. There will be more specific criteria um, in terms of the rubric that you can find on Canvas, but essentially you can find all the deadlines and details on there as well. This just gives you an idea of what I'm expecting in terms of the format. So as you're reading your book, as you're doing your research, think about what materials you would need, particularly images, that would really help convey that story. And on Canvas, I will share several really successful projects that people have done in the past just so you get an idea.
One tip from past students who have conducted the project successfully is for you to do this ahead of time as there might be some technical difficulties that you have to kind of brainstorm and problem solve. But for the most part, recording in PowerPoint would be very um, simple and straightforward um, until it's not. But I will also link another video to kind of help you along as the time progresses. So again, the content would be you pick one of the two options, either do a movie or book review and then link it to developmental psychology or pick your own research topic and do it that way. And then once you've picked the content, think about how you would effectively present it in the Pachachka format. So hopefully the previous few slides give you an idea of how to kind of proceed with the next step and how you might start putting together your presentation. At any point, please feel free to email me and message me. Um, the deadlines and the links and the rubrics and additional resources will all be available on Canvas, so look for those. But at any point, if you have any questions or need additional support, please feel free to email me or message me. Um, I hope to talk to you all soon. Take care.